friends, I'm here today to do part two of my ALA haul. And now these are all the books that like, if you would have said, what are you sort of looking for at ALA? These are the books that I would say, oh, I'm looking for these at ALA. <laughs> if you don't know nothing about ALA and you just want like a brief overview, it takes place every year. Normally they had two conventions, but I think they're down to one now. And it's for mostly for librarians and like industry professionals to kind of know what is coming out and you get free books and you get to meet authors and it's really really fun I get to go technically because I'm a teacher but like you might have a friend that goes as a blogger every year too so it just really depends um but I'm gonna go through like all the books that I got that like I went in there with an expectation to get if you want to see the rest of the stuff that I got it is in a, it's in the haul that I posted on Tuesday and I will it's just on my channel you can go look for it um but and I will also post shorter clips of these on my other social media so you guys can take a gander but yeah let's get into it the first bunch of books I'm gonna focus on is adult and for the most part these are books and authors that I've either read before or heard about before or just was intrigued about enough to kind of read um, so I got Kiss the Girl by Zadaya Cordova. This is the Ariel retelling in that Meant to Be series. I actually have the Jasmine Gilroy one on my TBR, but I saw this and I had to grab it. It's actually on my tentative TBR when I go to Italy because I need some contemporary books to tackle. And this is kind of on that list for the moment. I also picked up a copy of The Last to Leave the Room by Caitlin Starling. This comes out in October and it is a horror book bit from the author of The Death of Jane Lawrence and she wrote a couple of other things and when I saw this cover I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a shot so I have been dipping my toe into horror. I also got God Killer by Hannah Canner and this cover is so pretty and it is like a god themed novel I think it's also super short it's like not even 300 pages and I want to read more adult fantasy so this might be great but the only thing I know is it has to do with gods um so I'm excited to dive into this one and see if I enjoy it. Um, I also got The Pomegranate Gate by Ariel Kaplan. This I actually got signed because she was there signing my book. Oh, my Fitbit's talking to me. Um, but this is a book one of the Mirror Realm, sorry, a Spanish Inquisition or a fantasy based on Jewish folklore. Um, perfect for fans of Naomi Novik and Catherine Arden. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I like this. And I heard about this one from back in the books. So when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I have to get it. Um, my friend really wanted this one. Oh, I forgot a couple of books. I have to go find those. Um, but A Fall of Rune and Root by Jennifer L. Armentrout is the one my friend really wanted. And I got this sent to me from Macmillan. So once I'm done with it, I will probably give it to her. I'm actually going to read it relatively quickly because I just finished fourth wing and I want to do a reading vlog based on it. But this is another one that I'm really excited for. Um, and then Midnight is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winston. I read her two other books and I loved it. And this was like a gothic horror book. It comes out in October and I want to read it soon. So much so it's on my tentative TBR, which is really exciting. Another thriller that I got is The Housekeepers by Alex Hay. Um, and this kind of gave me um, the book I, I bet by Diana Rayburn that I, that I read recently and The Maid. So I hope that I will like this one again. It's a thriller. I kind of have a list of books that I might take to Italy with me and this is on that list. This comes out in July. So it just came out. And then I have Mr. Magic by Kirsten White. Her book, her other one, her adult book did not get the best reviews but this I'm intrigued by and I think it's about children stars on this TV show and everyone on the show dies and then these characters have to kind of figure out what's happening to it. I'm intrigued. Her books are not that long so I'm intrigued enough to give it a shot and I am dying to heart and I do like her YA books. And this, I don't know why this is in the stack but I think because I just like the cover and this is another like goddess themed book. A lot of gods are in this. I have a couple more books. Let me go get those and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys that it's in a second. Some more adult books. And then the one that I waited online for this for like literally two hours because my friend wanted a copy and I wanted a copy signed. So I got Blonde Identity by Ali Carter. And this is her new four way into adult, but it's kind of loosely inspired by Gallagher Girls. But I'm I'm excited. I really want to read this again. So might be a book I take to Italy with me. I don't know, it's signed, so I might be precious about it. But I do want to read it. I actually want to put this on my TBR card. So that's where that's going to go. But yeah, those are all the adult books. Honestly, adult's like my least amount of books that I grab. But these are the ones that had a personal connection to it that I thought I was going to grab them. So I did. So yeah, let's get into the next category.
The next stack is middle grade, and a lot of these middle grade books, a lot of them are from Rick Riordan Presents, just because those are the middle grade series that I'm very, very invested in. Rick Riordan has done nothing wrong in his imprint, so I'm really excited. Pick up Fury of the Dragon Goddess by Shredder Chada. This comes out in August, and this is the sequel to City of the Plagon, which is Mesopotamian mythology, which I'm really excited for. Grumbones by Jem Bennett is her middle grade debut with a bit of a ghosty twist. This comes out in August. Sir Barton's Guide to Witchcraft and Mayhem by so Rosanna Brain comes out in September, and this is about Ghanaian folklore, and it is the sequel to Sir Sarah Bowen's Guide to Vampire Hunting. I also got a book from Tara Saunders because she was signing with another author, I think. That's why I got this one. Yeah, she was signing. Um, but The Mystery of the Radcliffe Fertile, Be Careful What You Wish For. And I think it has to do with, like, hunting from buried treasure. Maybe some witchcraft is on the horizon. It Found Us by Lindsay Curry is a, is a middle grade horror or mystery book. And it is about a girl detective. And I love books about girl detectives. Vivian Van Tassel and the Secrets of Midnight Lake is another one that I'm really excited for. It's by Michael Whitmore. This comes out in August. Um, and then a couple more Rick Riordan present. Jorn of the Jaguar by J.C. Cervantes, which I do need to read this. I need to actually read the first book. I'm going to give it another shot. Um, and then I, the next book in the Dragon Pearl companion series is Fox Stare. And this is another space opera. This cover doesn't, this cover looks intrigued, so I'm very, very intrigued. And then actually the last book I got from Khan was Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yi. And I met her and she signed it for me, which I thought was so nice. I love when authors come out to these cons because I get to meet them. But yeah, so these are all the middle grade books that I picked up that I had like an inclination going in that I wanted. And now let's get to my biggest stack, as always, the young adult books. The next stack of books we're going to get into is like the contemporary, the mystery, the thriller. I may have missed a couple. Some of them might got may have got tossed into my fantasy pile, but we're going to get into it. It's a Scarlet Sun Secret to a Sensational Afterlife by Kendall Culper. I think this is a murder mystery set. It's a whip smart, seductive caper with a perfect combination of romance, vengeance, and a hint of supernatural in the golden age of Hollywood. And this actually just came out, but I'm really excited for this one. I love books about Hollywood. So I actually have a couple, so maybe I'll do a reading vlog. Again, comment below any reading vlog themes because I have a lot of options and I just struggle to come up with ideas. Also, Ellie Condy's Only Girl in Town is one I'm intrigued by. I think it's more like a murder mystery, but I haven't read by this author before, so I'm intrigued. And I like this cover. And they said it was more mystery thriller. Um, Four Found Dead by Natasha D. Richardson is one that she signed for me because like, I was able to meet her. And I want to read more in like this vein, so I'm, hopefully this one works for me. And then also Make From a Books recommended Christina Maldonado, and I have The Fall of Wit Rivers, which is a very, very fall-themed cover, so I'll probably read this around fall. It comes out in October. Um, but yeah, I haven't read her other books, but I'm intrigued enough, so I'm going to pick this one up and it comes out in October. I also got those Pink Mountain Nights by Jen Ferguson, and I have, oh, this is the same one that I wrote, The Summer of Bitter and Sweet, which I think I sent to a friend of mine, because I did get that, but I think I sent it to her, um, and this is her new book, and I think it's, it takes place in a pizza joint, that's all I know. I don't really know what this one's about, but it's coming out in September. <laughs> I think she writes poignant books, so I'm excited for this one. Um, and then I also really excited I got a copy of A British Girl's Guide to Hur Hurricanes and Heartbreak by Laura Taylor Namie. I loved um, A Cuban's Girl Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. This book comes out in September and I really, really want to read it. I don't know if this is a companion book or what, but it's following Flora. So I'm excited to read this one. And this one comes out in September. Um, and then the one I did not think they were going to have, and I didn't even know she's coming up book this year, is Prom Chanted by Morgan Matson. This is, she's publishing under Disney. And this is kind of like a fairy tale esque story. I think it doesn't come out, it doesn't even come out until 2024. But it's kind of loosely inspired by, like, um, Sleeping Beauty or Aurora and Philip. And it's like a take on that, but it's like a, a romance. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm very excited. So hopefully I get to read it soon. It might be like a September read just because I need some lighter reads for the start of the school year. But I'm really excited. I love Morgan Matz and I have quite a few books I haven't read for her yet. So maybe I'll do a reading vlog. She's had like an adult book come out. She's had a, white, a middle grade book and this will be a new one for her. So I'm really excited. 
Um, I also got Checkmate by Ali Hazel. Well, this is the first book I got that whole weekend. And this is her YA debut. So I'm really excited. I think this has to do with chess, I'm going to assume. And it, like rivals to more. And then I got Ghosted by Amanda Quain. This is the sequel to... Oh, accomplished, I think. But this is a, um, it's a contemporary gender bent, contemporary telling of North Hanger Abbey. I actually just have this on my TBR set. Probably gonna stick that back on it. But yeah, these are all of the contemporary books that I got in the YA set. And I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments what book you think I should read first. I would love to know. And I'll be back for my massive, massive, massive YA fantasy stack. I missed a stack. <laughs> so here is a small stack of like the mystery thrillers that I just got buried under my other books. Um, I got We Don't Swim Here by Vincent Terriato and this, I actually met this author and they signed my book which is really exciting and this has to do with another like water themed element. Um, it also has to do with grandparents and dementia and stuff like that so if that's a trigger for you I would be warned. Um, but this, I think this book just came out because this isn't actually an arc. But I'm very excited for this one. And again, I have a lot of things planned for like spooky season. This will probably be included. I saw this cover and I just had to have it. Suddenly a murderer, one of us in the mansion with the knife, Laura Munez. I think this is kind of like a clue retelling. This is a, a killer locked room mystery. This comes out in September. And yeah, I'm very excited for this one. I saw this cover. I needed to have it. So, but this one's very, very pretty. I also got Make Me a Liar by Melissa Landers, and this is another, like, mystery thriller. It comes out in December. I actually need to read her other sci-fi one that I got last year and never read, but I want to read this. This cover's very, very pretty, too. And then one of the last books I got was Last Girl Breathing by Court Stevens, and she signed it for me, and this is, like, another murder mystery element, and this book comes out I think November so but I really want to read this book it sounded very very interesting and she gave me a bracelet that says you matter so that's really really cool so yeah these are the other couple of mystery thrillers that are there and then we are going to get into the massive pile of YA fantasy so we'll do that this will oh, sorry my thing clicked this is probably gonna be the biggest stack because I always go there for YA fantasy and I always come home with a ridiculous amount. So I got The Forest Grimm by Catherine Purdy. I actually have two copies of this so I might do a giveaway in September, we'll see. But this is her newest series and it's more fairy tale-esque. I did really like Bone Crier's Moon. I actually have to finish that duology but this cover is so pretty and I grabbed this on the table once I put throughout all their YA arcs on Friday or Sunday before I was leaving and I got a copy of this and I was so excited. Um, I also picked up a copy of Wish of the Wicked by Danielle Page. She hasn't wrote in quite a long time, but this is like a fairy godmother retelling. But like the wicked side of it, oh my god, this cover is so pretty. Um, I also got The Bewitching Hour, which is a therapy prequel novel, also wrote by Ashley Elston. Um, Ashley Poston, sorry. And this one is one that I'm very excited for. If you are a Buffy fan, you know that Tara is definitely a fan favorite, and I'm excited to see her prequel story, and I really do like Ashley Poston's writing style. I also got Night of the Witch, signed by Sarah Ravis and Beth Ravis. This is a witchy-themed novel. They signed it to me, which I'm really excited for, and I love books about witches, and this comes out in October. I also got Our Divine Mischief by Hannah C. Howard. She has a middle grade book that I do have on my list, but this has to do with, like... I think it's like Scottish mythology, which I think is very, very interesting. So, And then a book I was like so excited to see is the second YA book in the Rick Riordan Presents series, A Drop of Bedham by Sanji Patel. And this is a Medusa retelling. So I'm very excited for this one. It doesn't come out until January. Will I be able to wait that long? I do not know. Um, but yeah. And then let's just do the other stacks and then I'll input them to Goodreads later. Her Radiant Curse by Elizabeth Lim is her new series. I still have to finish her Six, Cr Six Crimson Cream series, but I am very excited for this, and it comes out in August. Also, I have Their Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. I don't know if this is a thriller or if this is, like, a mystery or if it's a fantasy, but I'm very excited for it. So when it comes out in July. I also have The Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker. I love books about alchemists. And this is set in Dynasty China where alchemy has flourished. And I want to read her other book because I, again, I'm caught in the middle of a duology, but this cover just sold me. One of the first books I got this whole weekend was Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burden. And this she signed to me, which I think is even saying this has to do with like song magic, I think. 
and my god this cover is just so pretty and then another like water themed novel is curious ties by pascala la Chilla. um and this again is just a magic themed water novel and it comes out in october so very very pretty cover <sighs> and then one more sack um a bright heart by Catherine chinelli comes out in october and this is a ya tale of vengeance court intrigue and romance inspired by classic chinese tropes so that's exciting i like this cover it's very very pretty i also have by any other name by aaron cotter um and this is a theater theme book set in 1593 and i think it's lgbtq plus i got a little bit ruined in my bag that's okay and then i actually got godly heathen sent to me by eg edmonds um and this is about a non-binary solomon teen living in grace georgia and it's about gods as well so i'm really excited for this one as well and it comes out in november and then i also got sent songs of the eerie by asha shanti broomfeld um and this is a i don't think that this is fantasy i think this is just like a contemporary novel but the cover is really really pretty and it comes out in october and then I also did get Guardians of Dawn Zahara by S.J. Jones. Um, and this is Sailor Moon meets Cinder in this richly amended fantasy series. And I got this when I saw it on the table that last day. This cover is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. If you give me a Sailor Moon comp, I'm probably going to pick it up. Um, Hawkeye Bishop Takes King by Ashley Poston. This is another one of the Marvel books that I'm really excited to read. It comes out in October. And I'm really excited for this one. Um, sorry, I might be too loud. My puppy might come in here. I apologize. Dawnbreaker by Jodi Meadows comes out in um, November, and this is her newest series. This is from Holiday House, and when I saw this, I had to grab it. I've never actually read a Jodi Meadows book, so this might be the first one I read. Oh, no, that's a lie. I read her dragon book, and I liked it. And then I got A Multitude of Dreams by Mary Rutherford, and this is... Oh, I think this was a... Yeah, this was a retelling of The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe, and it comes out in September, so that's really cute. And then I have two, I also got a copy of Wrath Becomes Her by Aiden Pond and Dodoris. Um, and this is in Lithuania 1943, and it has to do with Jewish culture, which I'm really excited for. And I did get an extra copy of the Forest Grimm, so that might go into a giveaway in September. And I also got a Star Wars novel, Crimson Club. So yeah. Let me know in the comments what is it, if there's any books that you would love to see me review or do a reading vlog about. I would love to know. And and anything if you guys want to hear anything about ALA if I'm going to do an experience video let me know but I'll talk to you guys soon for another video bye book dragons